I always call C. Murda my favorite miller. And the reason why is because he's very, very compassionate. Um, he'll give you the shirt off his back. He is very funny. Quick-witted. I'm talking yeah. about he could almost do stand-up. I wanted to take a chance on him and plus he had uh, his brothers his friends I never had brothers you know and it was a situation yeah. where I was like you know I get to be like a sister yeah I got and, 10 brothers yes <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a little bit about them like some of them relationships like I remember you saying how you and C was so close yeah yeah so tell me a little bit about that I always call C murder my favorite Miller and the reason why is because He's very, very compassionate. Um, he'll give you the shirt off his back. He is very funny, quick-witted. I'm talking yeah. about he could almost do stand-up. But because he was so kind and um, generous, yeah. loyal, oh my goodness. He's loyal to a fault. He's my favorite. Yeah. He is my favorite. He gave my daughter her first pet, got a, a white bunny rabbit, and we named him Honey Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> a white bunny rabbit and y'all named him. Bunny, bunny the rabbit. rabbit's name was Bunny Rabbit. Wow. And um, you know, just everything about Corey. What people don't talk about. They talk about him hanging in the Calio, but a lot of elderly people who were in need he always helped them if people were struggling with their rent he always helped them he is very very dependable and very very like i said loyal to a fault i'm telling you mm. he's my favorite miller silk that's my baby <laughs> silk is a gangster silk. nobody will never tell y'all that <laughs> see because silk we don't really know too much about him because you know he was the one that didn't really have that that iconism, you know, outside of, you know, being in film and stuff like that. Because that's how I got to know so for real was through the movie. Oh, really? Through the Hot Boys, yeah, the Hot Boys yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, Silk is very smart. He doesn't say much. But when he does say stuff, it's the stuff that matters. He reserves his conversations for what matters. Hmm. Um, Silk is... I think more stern than all of them, but it doesn't appear that way because you mm -hmm. don't see him. But mm -hmm. he is very direct on, um, okay, I want to do that. Oh, no, I want to do that. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, I'm not going to do that. Silk is, uh, he's strong and he's smart. Mm -hmm. And he's quiet, but in a still waters run deep kind of way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah, I, feel, I guess I could get that vibe. Yeah. Uh, he is the baby. He, you know, of the group, he was the baby, like, he was pretty much the youngest for a lot of years mm -hmm. until uh, Pete got his cousins, you know, like prime suspects yeah. and them started coming oh, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. the Gambino so family. The but he was the young one. Um, Silk and Big Ed were best friends. Big Ed was like my brother. He mm -hmm. was the only child. Yeah. And so we meshed on so many levels. Yeah. Big Ed was my protector. Wow. Everywhere I went, Big Ed went. <laughs> Anything you wanted to say, you almost looked like you needed to say it to Big Ed. He didn't say much, just looking. <laughs> you good, sis, you good. Jake Jones telling me about when he cut his hair. He tried to cut a haircut or something. That's his head up. <laughs> <laughs> he needed a haircut for something, and the barber was closed. I used to be gone so much. I said, let Ed cut your hair. You know, at home... Y'all lying and do things. Y'all do it a little different. A little Sean didn't like nothing about it. He was like, Ed, I don't like the way you did my line. And, and I'm like, but it look cute. But I don't know. I mean, it's the same like with women. We know what you do in our edges right. and stuff. And right. men, y'all know about the linings. But I thought, it, I thought it was shy. But let me tell you, 
he was uh he was used of a particular barber, I guess, just like we're used to hairdressers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ed was a rapper. He just would pick up the clippers and do his own hair. Ed didn't, you know, Ed, Ed lift weights and and he was a rapper. <laughs> a rapper right? But Ed was my brother. Oh my goodness, we was so 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 close. Um, me, Silk, C, and Ed. A lot of times we would end up in my room watching a uh, National Geographic channel. That was our <laughs> the best shows. Um, favorite show, highlight of the show, the kangaroos fighting. They look like two men, <laughs> two built dudes squaring up. So we would yeah. like after the concert. Get in the room. You think everybody doing like wild stuff? No, we watching, watching National <laughs> Geographic, laughing hard at the animals. Relax. Oh, we would watch a movie. Um, you know they had a movie on. Um, every time we land somewhere, I went straight to my room. So I would call my kids, but the boys found a gym and they all they play they basketball twenty four seven. But yeah, the relationships. Look, everybody was my brother, brothers. Some were like sons to me. Hmm. Now, even though uh, Serv is just a year under me, yeah. um, I considered him a son. Yeah. yeah. I considered Fiend and Mac. Yeah. Cain and Abel. Yeah, like son. Yeah. Yes, yeah, and definitely. like l loved them really, really hard. Yeah. Uh, and Kale, my brother, like yeah. really my, uh, he's my shooter. <laughs> I can give him some food and, you know, Beats like Bout It and No Limit Soldier. Make yeah. him say, uh, it come from like after he eats. Yeah. Say, Kale, you won't eat? And he go. <laughs> and then he's at that board and something magical happens. <laughs> That's crazy, but I, I got along with everybody. In the beginning of the, uh, the, the building of, I like to say No Limit South. Mm -hmm. The building of that. Um, Percy and I were extremely close because... We conversated a lot on where we thought the company should go and yeah. what we should do. And um, but being like an independent major, yeah, you extremely busy, yeah. and you know uh, the the deterioration of the relationship came from being so busy. busy he yeah. used to sit down with us and we would always talk. But when you have a company now and it's it Especially went from this big to this big. Mm -hmm. And then, like I always said, I wanted to be a rapper. Percy always said he wanted to be a basketball player. So <laughs> then, boom, he's a basketball player. And, you know, we we didn't know, like, what was going to actually happen with the label. But as a family, mm -hmm. I can say that we were a real family. And I can say to this day... We still are a family. Yeah. What I what I learned because I'm the oldest, you know, yeah, me and my sister, we didn't never get into it. Yeah. We not we had to share no clothes. Yeah. We had to share the phone. Yeah. None of that. But I know people with brothers and sisters, you you fuss. Yeah. You fight. You fall out. Sometimes you don't speak. And yeah. sometimes you don't speak for a while. But family is still just that. Still you know, and at the end of the day, like that's all my brothers, you mm -hmm. know, and I, I love them dearly, like yeah. from the bottom of my heart. Yeah. Some have been there for me in more ways than one, you yeah. know, like like Fiend. Yeah. When I was sick, Fiend always checked on me, even if he had to come drive down, you yeah. know, and just lay eyes on me, you know. Yeah. Um, a funny story, no limit. Uh, I got my period. Mm -hmm. the, the guys, I mean, they don't get a period. <laughs> we in Oakland. We we got money and no call. Money you need a, no you call. need a call in Oakland. <laughs> so I'm in a bed. My stomach is hurting. Yeah. And the guys, they would knock on the door. They not, never liked to come in my room. My room was always really, really, really freezing. Yeah. And when we first moved uh, to California, I didn't know any of the people. And my mom was terrified of me just going and being alone. Um, <laughs> right, right. And so we went to the, f the French market. And we got some vegetables. And then we went to get some magnets. Mommy's like magnets on our refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Oh, we saw a voodoo doll. My mom said, I bet you if you bring that to California, nobody's going to mess with you. <laughs> I brought it and set it in a glass in a window. Yeah. Now, 
we, they used to have men that used to cut the uh, the weeds and they would always try to look and look. Yeah. So one day I said, let me turn this doll. I'm going to turn the doll facing the window. Yeah. So I'm laying down and this man think I don't see him. <laughs> he, and I'm just laying in the bed. Finally, he caught her. I called her Miss Lucy. Miss Lucy. He caught Miss Lucy and I heard him go, ah! <laughs> he never came to my window again. <laughs> Put his voodoo dolls in the window. Wow. Yes. So, um, but anyway, sir, if he knocks on the door and I'm in the bed, I'm not feeling well. He said, what's the matter? I said, well, I have cramps in. I, I, purse, he's not here yet. And yeah. I got to get to the store and I'm going to have to wait until I have a friend that was in Oakland named M. I said, wait, I have to wait till M get off work. And he said, if you got to have him, you got to have him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go get him. Mm -hmm. Now, understand this. Okay. want you to put your eyes on this red little okay. thing right here. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the top of the red is our house. Okay. And the floor is the stove. <laughs> we live like, you know, when you get to the bay, you start seeing people really yes. live in mountains yeah. and hills. And we lived in a, on, on this hill. <laughs> we had a one-story apartment. However, because of where we was on the hill, we had a balcony where it was two. If you would have fell off that balcony, you would have died. It was a dip. So I'm trying to figure out how serve going to do it. How he going to maneuver down the hill to the stove, then come back on that incline, you know, up the hill. So, you know, I, no, I got you. You have to have it. So I write down what he needs to get. And he takes the note. I remember he had on some jogging uh pants and a t-shirt wow when he came back the t-shirt was off and across his and his skin was like peach like he had been the sun had got him from that day on not 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 serve i fuss that serve more than anybody at no limit but from that day on i was like I got a ride for serve no matter what. I put that in my cookbook. He went down the hill to get me some pads. He got sunburned. He never argued. He just, here mommy. That's all. Here mommy. That's why. That's no that. matter what. I'm a ride for serve. And I'm telling my mom and my grandma, we used to talk on a three-way. Yeah. And I say, yeah, and serve. He went and get me some Midol. And he went and get me some tampons. And so, my mama, they would pack uh, care packages. So she decided, I'm gonna always send her some extra hot sausage. <laughs> <laughs>